too. Y'all hear my, my stuff? This is what I do, man. No. Ah, that would have been funny if I, because I got the zoom up and then that would have been really funny if I did this thing and then totally didn't record it. But um, I don't stress anymore as much as possible, first of all. But yeah, it was crazy, you guys. Like I, the alarm went off, actually twice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but here's the thing, you guys, we all have our days. We all have our days. We all have our days. Not every day is going to go perfectly. Not every day is going to go to plan, but we can't just throw it away anyway. Like we can't, you know, what if I had started freaking out? And that's what I normally would have done because I committed to showing up to you guys. I committed, of course, to showing up for myself, but I committed to showing up for God, which, but I can do that anytime, right? He's not on my schedule. <laughs> you guys probably aren't on my schedule. That's okay. I'm on my schedule. <laughs> so I woke up and, it, and I looked and I was just like, does that say 501? <laughs> You know, have you ever looked at the clock and been like, are you sure clock? <laughs> you sure you don't want to say 401? Because that would be much better. Uh, that's exactly where I was. It was funny. But I got up and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to do this video at five o'clock. And I started thinking about it. I was like, I'm, I'm kind of late sometimes anyway, so that'd be all right. And then I was just like, you know what, Lord, thank you for waking me up. And then I went and I got ready and I came in here and I got my water and my pre-workout. And I said, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this devotional. I'm gonna read out of the YouVersion Bible app because that's what I do when I'm not like prepared or know what to talk about. And it's okay. It's okay. You just show up. You just show up. Every minute counts. With my health coaching clients, I tell them like, if you got five minutes to put into something, whether it's exercise or nutrition, um, preparing your meals, if you have five minutes, use the five minutes. My dog's about to come in here. Use the five minutes. Don't just throw it all away. She's gonna open the door. I wish she could close the door. She needs to learn how to, you need to learn how to close the door. It's all right. That's what I'm here for. We close the door. <laughs> so you guys, basically what I'm saying is just keep showing up. You know, if you don't wake up on time, that's okay. Do something. If you have a goal, do something towards that goal. So I'm here and I'm going to do something towards the goal and I only have a few minutes, but I'm going to make the best of it. So anyway, welcome to Wednesday and knowing that I'm not perfect <laughs> and I'm never going to be. And you know, the most freeing thing has been for me to know that. <laughs> For me to know that I'm never going to be perfect, so I don't have to keep trying to be perfect. Now, I do pray, Lord, help me be more like you. And Jesus was perfect, but it doesn't mean I have to be perfect, right? I'm human. So, you know, even though I want to be more like him, I'm not him. So I am going to mess up sometimes and I am going to wake up late sometimes and, and that's okay. So Lord, pray this, pray this prayer with me, you guys. Lord, thank you so much for, for allowing us to be here today. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for all the, the goodness that you've brought into our lives. Thank you for continuing to be there for us when we need someone to talk to. Thank you for placing certain people in our lives that we can talk to in person, in the flesh, 
Thank you, Lord, for communication. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for community. Lord, thank you. We just want to thank you today because no matter what we're going through, we know that you have our backs. We already know that, that you've taken us through this season. We already know you're taking us through the valley and you're going to be there with us every single step of the way. We have nothing to fear because you're with us. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus name. Amen. Don't forget to say thank you. Today's verse is 1 Peter 5 and 6, and it says, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you at the proper time. You guys, that verse hits home with me because that's exactly, that's it. Like, we have to stay humble. We have to stay humble. You know, don't get a little bit of money and start being like, ooh, y'all don't know me. Stay humble. Remember where you came from. Because I don't care how much money God gives me it's gonna to be to pour back into the community. Now, obviously I'm gonna take care of my family, but it's also gonna be for the greater good and he knows that. That's why I'm not worried. He's got me, cause he knows. He knows my heart, but that's the thing. We have to stay humble. It's a must, we have to stay humble. So, I'm going to go ahead and read today's, I said this is going to be a little bit shorter because I slept, I slept. Today is the 8th, yes it is, I go get my stitches out today you guys, yay. Oh, this should be a good one. God can use anything for his purposes, God's direction. If you refuse to let my people go, I will send a plague of frogs across your entire land. The Nile River will swarm with frogs. That's Exodus 8, 2, and 3. Romans 9, 17 says, For the scriptures say that God told Pharaoh, I have appointed you for the very purpose of displaying my power in you and to spread my fame throughout the world. Well, he says throughout the earth. I'm thinking more throughout the world. In the Bible, God sometimes used animals to carry out his missions, frogs included. Because Pharaoh wouldn't listen to God's instructions to let his people go, God sent 10 plagues on the Egyptians, the second of which was frogs. To ancient Egyptians, frogs were symbols of the goddess of life and birth. God, however, used the plague of frogs and the eventual stinking heaps of dead frogs to demonstrate his power. Father, we're amazed at your far-reaching power. Thank you that you can use all things for your purposes. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. You guys, just remember, no matter what you're going through, no matter where you are in your stage of life, we're gonna curse addictions, we're gonna curse sadness, we're gonna curse depression, we're gonna curse any of the things that are meant to keep you from your true purpose in life and keep me from my true purpose in life. Because here's what I'll say, the more I've let go, the more my purpose is being revealed. So if you're not operating in your purpose, just be still sometimes and I know it's hard because we're told to hustle and we're told that we have to do this and we have to do that. And we we're told we're just supposed to grind, grind, grind. But what if being still is actually what we need to be doing? Grace over grind, grace over grind, grace over grind. Give yourself some grace before you go into the grind. Now I'm not gonna say I don't work hard because everybody that knows me knows that I do. But I had to learn how to give myself some grace first because I'm not going to be perfect and I'm not going to be great at everything. 
So when you find what you're great in, stay in that lane. For me, I'm not great at real estate, but I have a heart for people. And I'm great at that. I'm also great at soaking up knowledge. So I'm here to learn and soak up knowledge. Do what you're meant to do, even if you have to work on it on the side. And if you're not quite sure how to start, link up with me because God has blessed me with an amazing opportunity working on a multi-billion dollar platform that can help everyone that I know. And I want to be there beside you every step of the way as you're building your business and educating and operating in your purpose. And we need you. There's nothing God has blessed me with that can't be for everyone. You just got to want it. Again, every minute counts. Don't throw the rest of the day away just because the morning didn't go to plan. It's okay. Just keep going. God bless you guys. Have a great day.